Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name's our lad for Set Play Gaming. This is the Gran Turismo 7 Let's Play series and it's number three. And today we're going to be doing the European Classic Compacts. In the last episode I did mention that we'll be doing this. This is kind of going to be the format for the series. I want to try and condense every episode down under 20 minutes and keep it short. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so, European Classic Compacts, we're going to be collecting those three cars that you see on the right hand side. And as I mentioned in the last video, if you've not watched it, go back and watch it. I'm going to be making a playlist, so make sure you check that out. We can acquire these cars through the auto lot, used auto lot. And to do that, you need to acquire credits. So you can do that by winning the races. And in some cases, if you win a race... The car that you're looking for actually might be a gift car, and that's certainly been the case in the first test. Um, in the first video, we saw that. So we're going to head over to Goodwood, and as you can see here, one of the cars that's on the menu book, the Mini um, Mini Cooper Sport, is available, and it's two laps of Goodwood in the Sunday Cup Classic. It should be fairly straightforward. I don't see anything there in that lineup of cars that's going to trouble us as we're in the Mazda Demio we should have too much power for them and off we go well, as I said we do have two laps of this circuit it's quite wide as well it's not narrow like some of the other tracks so there's plenty of room for us to pass uh, a little bit of weird uh, control there <laughs> um, so one of the things I want to discuss while we're racing around is if there's anything that you'd like to see in these episodes, as I said, I am going to be focusing purely so, um, so far on the menu books, which is going to take us into a specific direction uh, within the game. Passed a stream of cars there and jumped into second. Just the one car left out in front. Um, what I want you to do is leave a comment and let me know specifically what you'd like to see, whether it's more of the, um, the garage... Um, more of the showcase uh, things like that uh, but like I said it, it, it's going to open itself up a little bit the more menu books we do the more cars we collect and that's basically the aim of the game isn't it um, if you've been playing Gran Turismo 7 you've probably been playing it a little bit longer than me because the game's been out quite a fair bit um, so please do let me know if you took a different route um, if you decided to you know, just do individual races and acquire the cars through the auto lot is there a specific reason why you did it that way? Um, by all means, chime in and let me know. Uh, do you have a specific favourite car early on that you like to get and then stick with for a couple of races? All these little useful things that you can um, advise to me, um, I'd be very grateful of that. Now, it was mentioned as well in the last episode where we were talking about things like the driver assistance and features um, that are in the game that can slow you down. And obviously that's going to be... Uh, a factor I just want to let you know that when that was suggested this video was already made so what you're actually gonna see here is that the driving assistance still hasn't been turned off yet but that will be switched off in um, future episodes maybe not the next one but the one certainly after that should have driver assistance off um, so you should see either more mistakes or better driving um, we'll leave that to the decision now on our final lap here uh, we've pretty much stretched ourselves out in front um, this is pretty much a foregone conclusion unless we make a mistake on one of the corners we should pretty much take home the checkered flag and the money here uh, the other two cars so one of them's a mini cooper the other car is the fiat 500 and the other car is the volkswagen 1200 um, we'll have to have a look you know with it being european compact cars i can't imagine the race is available being anywhere else but europe so um the other track is brands hatch and then the third one or is it the second one i'm not sure the second one might be the italian one which is um lake maggior circuit uh, we'll have to have a look once we finish this race we'll jump off here and have a look see which um which races are available at those circuits so yeah I mean I, the, the main main objective that I'm doing here from the outset is to uh, go through as many menu, menu books as I can 
um, but then the reason why I'm not necessarily buying the car straight away is just to save up as many credits whether that's going to be then to use to tune the cars up and get improvements things like that I'm not sure yet um, it might be that later down the line I'm going to use the credits to make a big splash and make a big purchase to get a better car um, again we just need to see how this plays out um, I did play you know if you've not watched the first two episodes then you'd know um, I did play Gran Turismo but it, it's been a number of years since I last played this game the format is very very similar uh, so there's plenty of grinding going on uh, within the concept of the game there you can see the menu book um, I'm not sure I'd imagine I'd imagine the Fiat 500 is going to be the Italian circuit isn't it because um, I'd imagine that's where where that one would be and then the Volkswagen 1200 so we jump out of here I was just waiting for that to come up um, the level up to level 3 and just like that we don't need to see the replay we'll just jump out here and jump into the next race Goodwood Motor Circuit that one there's a different one you go to Brands Hatch and there it is the um, Volkswagen 1200 and it looks like it's going to be a similar style race it doesn't look to be much difference in the cars that are in the lineup so again this should be pretty straightforward for us um, as we head down Brands Hatch Indy Circuit two laps um, this is a little bit more narrow I think than the the other circuit we've just been on um, there's actually a, a Volkswagen Golf GTI there up in first place so maybe that might give us a little bit of uh, competition once we get past once we blow past the uh, first enthusiasts as we take on the Mini Cooper here in seventh we start at the back of the grid and work our way up and like I said it's only two laps so we, we do have to be quick the track is narrow as you can see um, so we're going to have to probably be a bit more aggressive. There we go. And uh, pull this around here. Already into sixth place. And so what I wanted to do with this series, as I said, is leave the, the lanes open, so to speak, for suggestions from yourself. If there's things that you'd like to see uh, for me to add in. Uh, then please do let me know but keep in mind obviously I want to include the races that's getting me the in this case the objective is the cars uh, primarily the cars but if it's sort of grinding out races to get credits I'll just include obviously the best bits of races um, near passes things like that um, and then obviously the the start and finish but if it's something else if it's it's very objective based then I'm I'm going to try and keep everything down to around between 15 minutes, certainly nothing longer than 20 minutes. Um, I like to try and keep the episodes tightly packed with plenty of action. Uh, so like I said, you guys can leave me some feedback. Um, as we take on this golf here in first, we are on our final lap here, so we just have to be a little bit more aggressive. Just try and take him. Can't give him. Certainly can't give him any any um, favourable corners like that. Let me try and catch him here. Maybe on this next corner. Otherwise, we're going to run out of track. The checkered flag is one big turn here, and then we've got a straight. So we're going to have to take him. Otherwise, it's going to come down to the last turn. Here we go. Get on the outside. Oh, oh, he's got a little bit of push here. We should take him. Go on, have him. He's done it. On the last turn, the last straight, and we finish first. And he comes up and smashes me up the <laughs> behind the, the back there. Have some of that for your troubles. A little bit of a tap at the back as we come in first. 
that was a little bit more competitive than the first race at least. Uh, rather enjoyed that. So we finished first and um, the last one is going to be the Fiat 500 then as we go up to 66 and a half thousand credits now. I think the target aim is going to be something like 120,000 so we're at least halfway there. Uh, to be late match your circuit for the uh, Fiat 500 win that. By the time we've done that, I think the episode will be finished. Um, and we'll see what menu book four is. Yeah, the Autodraw Maggior circuit. Another Sunday Cup classic. And the cars don't look like they've changed. So there's no reason for us to change. Because I think the Mazda Demio, as of right now, is the fastest car that we have in our lineup. Um I don't think there's anything else. Oh actually the Clio might be Hmm. I'd have to go back and have a look. But I don't want to change cars right now simply because um I think the lineup's very, very similar. It doesn't look like it's changed all that much for this particular uh group of tests for this menu book. Here we go, and this track is even more narrow than the last one, than Brands Hatch. So we have to be quick, we're gonna have to be aggressive and try and snap up all these positions as quickly as possible. As the Samba bus tries to edge us out on the corner, we'll pass that with ease. And then slowly gonna gain on Clemens, Clemens is it? Clemens, I was going to say Clemenson. Clemens in the Mini Cooper. And we're already halfway round on our first lap here, so we have to be quick. There's a big bunch of them all bunched up again. we we'll hopefully pass them in one swoop. Here we go. Right past the Samba bus into first. That's what you like to see. Oh, here comes the Mini Cooper. Clemens is saying, no, I'm going to give you a battle here. Just try and edge him out, beast him out with our car. And off we go again. As we head down the straight, he's actually coming up behind us. He's actually going to pass us. How embarrassing. I actually had a Mini Cooper back in England. Going to try and give us a race here, is he? Just like the Volkswagen uh, Golf in the last last one and uh, one of the things if you didn't see episode 1 and 2 those were um, episode 2 with the National B license that we did and that was showing the best times that I got in each test B1 through B9 for the exam uh, so you go back and watch that, that was episode 2 and episode 1 I believe if I remember was the Japanese compact cars um, you go back and watch that as well if you want to support the series he's coming out as again here on this uh, inside just make sure that we protect the corner and see him out as we round the final corner to the finish line we should have enough power uh, to claim first place but the overall aim here is pretty much the same I'd like to see your feedback in the comments and that pretty much completes the European compact cars it's going to be interesting to see what the next menu book is the collections themselves certainly make it a little bit easier to acquire a bunch of cars very very quickly and as I said this game has over 400 cars in the earlier episodes I did mention that I'd not played Gran Turismo for some time uh, as we jump up there to 74,000 credits and so because of that some of the things kind of remain the same it's 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 eerily similar to some of the earlier games that I've played there isn't that much difference but I certainly don't remember playing a game where they had menu books and sort of like a, 
a structured system of being able to acquire the cars. It's almost like a story mode. You know, you, you keep driving to this cafe and this guy, Lucas, keeps giving you these menu books with these challenges in. So it's going to be interesting to see how long it takes me to acquire all menu books. That's a lovely shot there of the compact cars from Europe. You should see um, this completes the classic collection. Win another roulette ticket there, and another world circuit's been made available, as well as a tuning shop. Let me know if you want me to show some more of that. As I said, um, I want to try and keep every episode down to around 15 to 20 minutes, so keep that in mind when I'm, I'm showing the races as well and the highlights. Keep in mind that if we're going to be including things like the tuning shop and the um, garage, then we do need to sort of make minimal inclusions there. So Lucas is telling us about the history of these European compact cars. And the ingenious engineers and visionaries who created concepts and cars like the Mini from the UK, the Fiat 500 from Italy and the Volkswagen Beetle from Germany. I like how this is done, this is really stylish. They've included a little bit of automotive history as well along with the actual game. So you're collecting the cars and learning a little bit about them as you go along. And uh, menu book 4, here we go, it says it's a championship. High speed ring track day, doesn't really say what it is, like what's going to be included in it. The other ones were very specific but that's very vague, other than it saying a championship. Um, so like menu book one was Japanese compact cars, menu book two was the National B license, and menu book three was European compact cars, so it told you exactly what it is you've got to do. So we're going to leave today's episode right there. I don't think there's much else to show you before we go, but if you enjoyed this particular series, this particular episode please smash the like button and as i said leave me a comment and i'm going to be creating a playlist with these in so please make sure you visit that i'll include the link in the description and i'll see you guys again soon